So here is a problem today. We have the check engine light on and it will not seem to go off. I know what the problem is, but let's go grab Tyler and see if we can't head down to a shop and see if they can fix it. We're back. So I got a little issue with the Porsche. What is it? I've had the check engine light come on and off for a little bit of time. Okay. And we have done a few things. So my normal shop ran the diagnostics. Yep. And what they found was that it's a P000A code which is generic, okay. but it talks about the camshaft and the position sensor is slow to respond or something like that. Can I interrupt you for just a second? Yeah, Every did. time, yeah, did. thanks. <laughs> Every time you get on the highway, I'm sure you guys can't hear it, but this car just sounds amazing just for that little bit of time of going on the highway. And I'm not even pushing it because no. I want to get it fixed. But. I brought it to the shop. What we did was there's a sensor for the left bank and there's a sensor for the right bank. Okay. And it's on the left bank, the driver's side. They switched the sensor, so the left one's on the right side, the right one's on the left side. I said, hopefully that'll fix it. Maybe okay. it's just a sensor problem. And then if it comes back on and it says it's on the right side, we'll be good to go. So they put that on and it worked for about a week. The checking light like, came on, brought it back in. Like, yeah, that's not good. It's still on the left side. So then we went for an oil change and they said, well, we'll run some engine cleaner through it. Okay. They say it won't eloquently in the mechanics world. I'm sure they do. But it basically cleans out the engine and then they do an oil change for it. Did that, it worked for about three weeks. And now the check engine light is on again. I went back there and they're like, yeah, I could spend a half an hour, I could spend four hours trying to figure out the next step, but it's not really in my realm, so maybe you should go down to the Porsche dealer. Is that what we're doing today? I was going to do that. Then I thought, okay, we live in a town of 100,000 people, yep. and there are three shops that deal with Porsches. Okay. There has to be one of those shops where a guy actually maybe worked as a service tech. Yeah. At the Porsche dealership. You'd assume. You would assume. So, I called the shop, Autobahn, his name is Mike, super nice guy. Come to find out, he worked at both the Carousel Porsche and the Audi dealer okay. for like 10 to 15 years. So He seems like a pretty good guy then. Yeah, so I told him exactly what I told you. He's like, oh yeah, you guys are on the right track. What it is, is those solenoids are operated by oil pressure. Okay. So we're on the right track of doing what we're doing. He said there's a, I don't know how many there are, but that is most likely what is causing the issue. So what he is going to do is get into that part and he can tell which solenoids are good and which ones are bad. And I think he might have to replace one or two or a few of them. So with any luck, keep your fingers crossed that we can get this portion fixed. Sure it will be. All right. So let's enjoy some driving while yeah. we got her. Still drives good. It still sounds amazing. I really hope you can fix it. I do too. That would be best case scenario for if it's a cheaper amount. Well, especially if he really knows what he's doing, which it sounds like he does. He'll be my new shop. That'd you're not going to worry about going two and a half hours down to the Porsche dealer. Because your car is a little bit damaged. Right. There it is. Well, folks, here's the hoping. I guess we'll give you an update in a few days. He's open. He's open. Open for Porsches. <laughs> All right, should we hit him on the exit? Yeah. I don't think we're going to find out too much right now. I doubt it. If we do, we'll let you know. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. And if you enjoy the video and want to learn more about the outcome of this car, please click that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget about the awkward high five. Yeah. That was pretty awkward with the dump truck.